with a historic and deadly weather storm causing serious problems across the country tonight. We're feeling the effects here in the Bay Area. The latest numbers from FlightAware show at least 2,500 flights have been canceled. At SFO, that's nationwide, at SFO, 20% of all flights in and out today were delayed. And at Oakland and San Jose, the number is over 30%. SFO packed with travelers scrambling to get home. With so many delays and cancellations this week, some people were arriving days later than expected. Spoke with one woman flying in from Portland whose flight was canceled three times. Now she's headed off to Asia. I have been really stressed. And then to make things worse, when I finally found out my flight was going to take off today, I couldn't get out of my driveway because of an inch of ice. I was very worried, yes. But here I am, and I'm with my best friends in the world. So, you know, what a great Christmas. The storm is taking a deadly toll in some places. More than two dozen people have died at one point, one and a half million homes and businesses without power. Christiane Benavides takes a look at the effects. The extreme winter storm pounded large parts of the U.S. while unleashing much of its fury on Buffalo, New York. This is a war with Mother Nature. A vicious blizzard in the upstate city dumped more than 40 inches of snow, knocked out emergency services, and stranded people in cars, places of work, and even their homes. This is up to my waist. We still have people who need to be rescued. We have people uh, with their power off in our communities and uh, buildings where pipes are bursting and flooding is occurring, uh, as is happening in my own home right now. So this is what's happening in real time. The days long storm hit South Dakota so hard that the National Guard was deployed to help stranded Native American communities short on vital supplies, including firewood. The so-called bomb cyclone put about 60% of the nation under advisory or warning and frustrated thousands of holiday travelers. It's been adventure. It really has. And I finally got into to to Seattle and tried to make a connection here, failed. And a scary incident ended well for a dog owner in Oklahoma. On Christmas Eve, rescuers helped save a pup that fell through the ice on a frozen lake. 